Hello and welcome to this overview of the Roland HS5 Session Mixer. Today I'll be covering some of the basic features to help you set up the mixer to allow multiple musicians to play together and be able to hear each other. Here are the main outputs. If you choose to connect the mixer to a set of speakers, you would connect a quarter inch cable from the left and right outputs into your speakers. There is also an additional eighth inch headphone output available. To the right of the main outputs is input number five. That will accept a mono or stereo line in or a stereo eighth inch input. Looking at the rear of the unit, you will find four inputs, A through D. Each of these input channels will accept either an XLR cable, a mono quarter inch cable, or stereo quarter inch input, depending on what instrument you're plugging in. Above the channel names, you will notice smaller knobs. These are the input volume controls when you're plugging in an XLR cable and should be turned down prior to inserting that cable. On the left side of the unit, you'll find the power connection as well as the USB outputs. If you're looking to make an audio recording, simply connect a USB cable from the unit into your computer. As well, you can save recordings directly to a USB stick by plugging the stick into the memory port. Towards the top of the unit, we have our on and off button volume controls for each input, and the volume control for the main mix output. Above this section is another look at the input volume knobs for each channel's XLR input. The middle section of this unit allows you to choose the output mix you would like to adjust. To connect an instrument or microphone to the mixer, choose an input and plug the appropriate cable into it. First, I'm going to plug an XLR cable that's attached to a microphone into input A and turn the input volume up. Next, a quarter-inch instrument cable that is sending a mono signal from an electric guitar into input B. And lastly, two quarter-inch cables that are sending a left and right stereo signal from a digital piano into input C. Just to make things simple, we will give the guitar player mix B, because that's the input the guitar is plugged into. The first thing you need to do is select the type of instrument that is connected into input B. On each of the mix channels, we have our overall output volume on the left, a reverb adjustment if you'd like to add a little bit of reverb to your mix, and my mix ratio, which adjusts the amount of guitar volume compared to the rest of the inputs specifically for this channel. To adjust the amount of each input signal going to mix channel B, select the channel and raise or lower the volume knobs that correspond to the inputs being used. You will know you're only adjusting this channel's mix when you see the Mix B button at the top of the channel flashing. Go through and select each of the channels being used and repeat this process until everyone is happy with their mix. If you're recording your performance on a USB stick, we have our Stop, Play, and Record buttons in the very center. We also have a metronome at the top left that allows you to tap the tempo you are looking to play at. That concludes our overview of some of the basic features to get you started playing and monitoring through the Roland HS5. Thanks for watching!